part of the stage two ECU and TCU review from APR. Uh, I'll give you guys a little bit of history of my car first, but I'll try to keep it short so I don't lose you. So basically, I bought the car in February. The car came with a GIAC tune, G-I-A-C, uh, that's how you say it, I'm not sure, but anyways, came with a stage one, I think with the ECU and TCU tune. I liked it, it was okay, but apparently the guy before me didn't drive it very well, or just didn't drive it hard enough, so it is a fuel-rich tune, so he ended up driving it not so well and clogged the injectors and it was just a mess, and even before uh, that all came about and I had to pay for it, I knew that I wanted to go to uh, over to APR because I knew about the Stage 2 platform. And, you know, I was waiting for an, like APR to have basically a deal, um, you know, switching over from GAC to APR as like, you know, a discount or anything like that. And one ended up popping up, which was amazing. So I pulled the trigger on changing over to APR from GAC. Um, it was a great percentage off. Uh, Got the ECU Stage One and TCU tunes. Uh, they were they were great. They were all around perfect. Um, you know, in in comfort mode, still quiet, still docile a little bit, but with you, if you stepped on it, you could still get a power, get some power from it. Um, but then, obviously, in dynamic mode and sport, APR APR Stage One stepped up, man. They had it was awesome. I could feel I could feel the power. I could feel that extra torque. Um, it's a real must from when these cars are stock. I mean, 420 is a lot of horsepower, but being how big these things are, it needed a little bit more of a kick. So overall, stage one ECU was great. The TCU was even better. Uh, narrowing down the, the shift times, um, getting it more on points, you can, you can receive higher end torque, and then the, you know, that whole gear shifting thing. I won't get into the hibbity jibbity about it. But you understand it. It really tightened up everything and it smoothed everything out. There was a big lag between first and second and sometimes even second to third a little bit with the turbo lag. It cut that, it, it cut that down a little bit, helped out with the power. So I just it just wasn't enough. Stage one was not enough. So I wanted to go stage two. Now, I also was trying to look for a deal about when the stage two downpipes that APR offers would be uh, kind of reduced because 2K is a lot but their incentive to get the downpipes with the stage two tune free, that was like, okay, that's pretty sweet. Let's try to figure this out here. So I waited um, to, let's see, I probably waited till the midsummer when um, Waterfest came about. And one of the garages that my guys go to, um, or my car club goes to, Addy Unites NYC, they were selling some products at Waterfest and they were having a 15% hardware sale 
So with that said, I got 15% off the downpipes when he was selling them like that on top of getting a discount from the stage one T ECU and TCU tunes from APR. So boom, I thought it was set. You know, bought the downpipes, got everything installed. Stage one, great. E e TCU, great. Stage two, oh my God, blew me out of the water, man. This is a fantastic car now. It is so powerful. Especially with the downpipes, it sounds a little better. But right now, what you hear in the video is actually my recent muffler mod. So I uh, made it a little louder, but definitely this, the downpipes from APR help out uh, high flow cats. They are not catless. So it is an all around fantastic tune. The car is so fast, couldn't ask for more. What APR did with stage two and the downpipes is it really helped out that turbo lag with more crap allowed to be expelled from the engine uh it reduced the essential like pickup that you get by stepping on the throttle and then oh and then it goes you know that um you know turbos do that you know i'm not going to get into that either you know you guys you car guys know that um especially being twin turbo uh it'll it'll be there so with the down pipes it definitely helped that out uh a lot actually i think um the overall overall power is I say, you know, APR says for me with a 93 octane, about 586, and then I have my Rock Euro in there, so I, you know, I try to factor it in, I just call it maybe 10 horsepower, I don't know, there's no real proven results, but I'd like to say, so I think it should be, I should be roughly 600 horsepower, uh, but with the 100 files and the 104 files they offer too, uh, octane files, uh, you can be pushing upwards of like 610, 620. And then uh, you're probably upwards almost of, I guess, six, 650 to 700 few pounds of torque. I mean, the numbers are insane. Stage, stage two really does a number on these things, man. It really does a number. Really helps out just being a more powerful car. You know, you get the luxury that Audi provides for interior, but you just get the oomph, and it's fantastic. Enough of the interior talk. Now that I have stage two, and I've had it for nearly four months now, it's great. But it's time to show you guys a little bit of the engine and what the downpipes look like and probably some zero to 60 vids. So let's do it. Don't mind how dirty the Rock Euro intakes are. I'm gonna clean them at some point, but that engine bay looks pretty dang fresh. stock downpipes are quite confusing. I mean, they go this way, they go that way, they crisscross, they have these big fat cats that sit in the way of the exhaust flow. It doesn't make any sense. Audi should have at least fixed that a little bit. You know, for a sporty car like this, the exhaust flow from the downpipes was quite poor. Now, APR really fixed that by making them straight down and a much more high flow cat. The tune specifically from APR tricks the ECU into thinking that the cats are actually putting out what they're supposed to, or at least stopping what they're supposed to from the exhaust. So well, guys, as you can see, there's tons of space down in there that they uh, engineered. And that, all that space was for those downpipes, the stock downpipes. So, I mean, these things literally take up minimal amounts of that. I mean, you can see that one goes almost straight down to that side. And you can see how that one comes down too. The cats are a little farther down, but on the stock downpipes, you could literally see the cats, big old chunky thing, pretty much right on the side, both sides there, and then you just see more piping crossing there. But yeah, and that's how uh, kind of burnt they got from all that heat. It's pretty amazing. Even the tur you can see the turbo getting really hot too. This snail, you know, a little carbon fiber in the Rock Euro just to give it that whooshing sound for sure. I will show you these though. Uh, these are the mid pipes that I, stock mid pipes that I had in my car. And I guess when you buy the APR down pipes, 
Uh, they come with some new mid pipes, and I believe they're non resonated or they are resonated, but bigger resonators. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I definitely made a difference in sound um, over these stock ones. And you can see in there, there's my the resonators at the end. Um, they're just you know big and not noisy. So they did a really good engineering job and uh, basically removed all those crisscrosses and gave you nice exhaust flow down. Um, they are race race pipes technically, and they will not pass you in emissions. Uh, it's probably recommended that you switch them out. At least get a, get a, get them uh, removed and then put back in. So here's the best I can do in terms of my zero to 60 videos and getting an idea of what my uh, time is. Um, so I'm gonna be using my GoPro. It has a GPS uh, system in it. Uh, it's kind of like the Draggy, I guess. I can put gauges, but uh, well, let's, uh, let's see what we can do.